Do you know why it is important for you to know whether you have anterior pelvic tilt bias or posterior pelvic tilt bias? You should create your exercise program based on your movement bias. So if you don't know your movement bias and you won't know which exercises are beneficial and which ones are not for you. And by the end of this video, you will learn the difference between anterior pelvic tilt and a posterior pelvic tilt. And also know that which movement bias that you have. And you might also be interested in my last video, so you can check it out at the link below. If you want to learn how to retrain your body and then movement safely and then effectively and then move better, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. I am Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner with my background in athletic training, physical therapy, martial arts, and the Feldenkrais method. I have helped many people like you overcome and then move beyond the pain and the limitations. Now it's your turn and let's dive in. Anterior pelvic tilt is a position or movement of the pelvis relative to your thighs or the femurs. When your pelvis is moving forward or positioned forward relative to your thighs, it is called anterior pelvic tilt. It is a naturally an extension stress to your lower back as it increases the extension or the arching of the back. So the way that you, uh, you can identify whether you have this bias or not is you're going to observe your position of the pelvis. Okay, so you can put your hands and the fingers on the front of the, the bony parts of the, your pelvis. And you can imagine there is the eyes on the front of the pelvis. And as you are naturally, okay, this is how do you sit normally? And you just sit in a normal, comfortable position for you. And then you can put your fingers and then just to point, uh, place your fingers on the front of the pelvis. Then imagine that the eyes on the front of the pelvis and then can you get a sense which directions, where these eyes are looking at? If it is looking slightly downward directions towards the floor. And then that means that the pelvis is rotating forward. It is anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so you can, you can check with your fingers and you can also check in a mirror so you can see whether you can actually feel that. So here, if it is the direction, the angle is pointing downward directions, right? And that's an anterior pelvic tilt. So you can observe that in sitting first. And then you can also observe that in standing. Same thing, so stand, your normal stance. And you can put your fingers on the front of your pelvis and again, and you can observe and take a look which directions the, these two points are pointing. If it is slightly pointing downward directions, you're maintaining the same position, so the same movement bias. And so that, um, most likely that is your bias, so that you have an anterior pelvic tilt. So if you see that uh, this bias in sitting, and most likely that you are probably uh, have um, anterior pelvic tilt bias, because standing, it naturally, it makes it easier for the pelvis to move into the anterior pelvic tilt directions. So if you are already maintaining that same movement bias in the sitting, then it's quite likely that you have an anterior pelvic tilt movement bias. So now let's talk about posterior pelvic tilt. So posterior pelvic tilt is a position or the movement of the pelvis moving backward directions and relative to your thighs. So Anterior pelvic tilt is moving, the pelvis is moving or positioned forward relative to your thighs. And then the posterior is moving position, backward directions. And just like you did with the anterior pelvic tilt, and you're going to check your position or the movement of the pelvis in sitting and then also standing. So first in sitting, you can take your fingers and place them on the front of the bony parts of your pelvis. And your normal sitting, don't change your sitting posture, just to sit how you normally sit, because you wanna see your movement bias. 
your natural and habitual movement patterns. So as you're sitting normally and then feel, where is the, what's the direction of the pelvis? These two fingers, okay? It's like imagine the eyes on the front of the pelvis and which direction is the eyes looking? If the eyes are looking upward directions, upward directions, so instead of downward direction, that's an anterior pelvic tilt. Now, if the, these two points are pointing slightly upward directions, and then that is in a posterior pelvic tilt. And then you can also feel the shape of your lower back. It's probably a little bit more flattened or even more rounded, okay? So that's the posterior pelvic tilt. And once you know that, then you can also check in standing. So as you stand, so same thing, does that change the position? Do you still maintain somewhat similar so the back stays flat? So there's no change in the shape of your back. Then very likely that you have a posterior pelvic tilt bias, right? And for those of you who have a posterior pelvic tilt bias, and that bias will be pronounced, even more pronounced when you're sitting. And the lower the sitting surface, and then the more pronounced that posterior pelvic tilt bias will be. So that's how you know. Uh, so if you're sitting on the floor, and for those uh, with the posterior pelvic tilt bias, it's almost impossible to sit and trying to uh, sit more neutral because they've adapted that posture and the bias for probably for quite a long time. And then over time, those muscles and joints and tissues have adapted to that position. So it's really hard for you to now move out of that. So which movement bias do you have? And comment that below. And now that you know which movement bias you have, and you can create your exercises and specifically for your movement bias. And if you happen to have an anterior pelvic bias, and you might want to check out my last video and where I teach a simple movement retraining exercise to improve anterior pelvic tilt. If you want to improve your back pain, be sure to grab your free movement guide to pain-free back at the link below. Check out these videos. And if you like this video and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends, comment below how helpful you found this video was. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Happy mindful movement. Bye-bye.